Hi, I'm Ramon Russell from the MLB The Show development team, here to take a deeper look into our teaser trailer that debuted at the PlayStation Experience. Before we do, on behalf of everyone at the Sony San Diego studio, thank you for making MLB The Show 15 the highest selling iteration in franchise history. Last year, more newcomers played MLB The Show than ever before. So let's take a look at our teaser trailer. The first thing we see here is Rogers Center, and as you notice, the roof is closed. In MLB The Show 16, all appropriate stadiums will now have open and closed roof options. It's a much requested detail and franchise first. When you're in exhibition and online, you can just choose whether the roof is open or closed. But for franchise and road to the show game modes, this will be decided for you based on the weather before the game that day. Here's that shot of the Toronto home dugout completely devoid of people. And I'm sure many of you are wondering what's going on here? Why is there nobody here? What we're showing you here is PBR. And PBR basically means physically based rendering. It makes wood look like wood, glass look like glass, metal look like metal, concrete look like concrete, etc., etc. Also, this is the only shot in the entire trailer where you actually see it. It's not turned on anywhere else. You can really tell the difference when we compare MLB The Show 16 to 15 side by side. The top of that home dugout is actually metal, and in 16, you can see it actually looks like metal finally. In 15, not so much. In MLB The Show 16, you'll experience baseball's most epic moments with this new feature we call Showtime. Showtime slows down critical moments like dive plays, hot corner reactions, still attempts, and pressure batting moments to give the user more precise control. This only takes place in roles to the show and play a lot, and it's a completely optional feature, so you don't have to use it if you don't want to. Next shot we see is Josh Donaldson's signature home run swing. We've added over a hundred of these for various players in the MLB who do a little something extra when they go deep. Here we see Josh throwing up his signature six sign, which is a tribute to the 416 Toronto area code. He does this whenever he hits a home run. This year we've added new categories in the area of player personalization animations to help those guys stand out a little bit more. We also see Jose Bautista brushing a little dirt off Josh's shoulders, which is one of the new tandem animations we've added in the show 16. Ah, Showtime. We just showed you a diving Showtime opportunity and here's a hitting Showtime opportunity. There are more opportunities to use Showtime, but for this teaser trailer, we only wanted to show you two. More on that later to come. So here we see a couple pitcher reactions. Chris Sale and Jake Arrieta getting out of the way of these balls hit back towards the pitcher's mound. These are new, we didn't have them in MLB The Show 15. This year we've added tons of new pitcher reaction animations so they get out of the way of the balls and they don't get hit as much. There's also another little secret that we're showing here with Jake Arrieta's feet. We're moving to Human IK. Human IK allows us to fix a lot of transitional issues in our animations from years past, but that's something we'll elaborate more on in the future. Moving on, we have Jose Altuve turning a double play. We've added over 50 new double play animations in the game. The next scene we see Xander Bogarts using one of our new dive throw animations. We've recorded over 100 of those for the show 16. The next shot we see here is Pablo Sandoval running from first base to second. If you look really closely, Pablo Sandoval's run, gait, speed, and stride is a little bit different than Billy Hamilton's. We've added three brand new running styles for MLB The Show 16. We have small, athletic and lumbering, and the normal one, which was that last year, bringing our total to four. So all the players won't run the bases in the same way. After the trailer finished, we tease an additional three new features. The first one is Conquest Mode, but it's too big to talk about in this video. There's also another new mode, which we didn't show on the trailer at all, and we'll reveal that later on in the cycle. In this shot, you guessed it. We're teasing the return of classic stadiums to PlayStation 4. Forbes Field, Shop Park, Sportsman Park, Polo Grounds, Crosley Field, and Griffith Park will all be making their PS4 debuts in MLB The Show 16. All six will be free. The next tease is Legends. We've shown you six new ones. There's more to come, but we'll reveal those later on in the cycle. And all the Legends from last year will be returning to MLB The Show 16. Our last tease might have been the easiest one to miss. We're teasing six other guys in card form, but none of these guys are retired, so they can't be legends. What you're seeing here are two of our new Diamond Dynasty card types, Rookie and Prime. There's a Ricky Miguel Cabrera and Zach Grinke card, along with Prime versions of Alex Rodriguez and Ichiro. 
This year, we are releasing three different versions of MLB The Show 16 that releases on March 29, 2016. The first is a standard version. On PlayStation 4, it's $59.99. On PS3, it's $39.99. The next version is the MVP edition, which is $69.99. That includes over $135 in value. The next version is the PlayStation Store exclusive Digital Deluxe Edition for $99.99. This version comes with over $200 in value. By pre-ordering the game, you receive 10 standard packs, one player rep rookie card, and on PSN, if you pre-order, you'll receive three exclusive PlayStation 4 avatars. You can pre-order now at theshow.com or any of the other major retailers. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and theshow.com for more news involving MLB The Show 16.